dark, the first of his name. We shall take a trip through another set of collector boosters, but I think this time we'll take it a little slow. Kind of enjoy the art that we have on these cards. We did a lot of searching and hunting, and I figured we should uh, take a chill pill this time around. So, of course, we are going to lose our mind if we actually find something of worth or something really rare, of course. But let's actually take a look and look at these cards. Like These are some really cool, done-looking cards. Like I like that they're foil. This is cool. The Rebel looks like he's wearing like mountain armor or she. You can never know these days. There you go. Koth fire. So this is the emblem for Koth on the other side of this one. It's real nice. Really beautiful. I like it. Looks cool. Dragon wing glider. It's like an actual goblin on the on the glider trying to fly around everywhere. That's nice. It's got the form the form meridian effect. Low bad iron goblin. Now there's the crazy work. Now these ones I'm I'm kind of meh about. Like they look cool, but it's like so much sketched art. It's hard to really see what's going on in these. So I mean that, but that's just my opinion. Some people probably look at this and they're like, you know, this is the best thing they've ever seen since sliced bread, and they're entitled to their opinion. And if that's what they like, that's what they like. But this one is not foil. We didn't pull foil. So here's Necrogen Rock Priest. Now, I like the card stock on these Step and Completed Foils. because These Step and Completed Foils are, like, amazing. I can't explain it when you touch them. They're, like, a whole grade of card on their own. They're very nice. Then here's the regular foil with the Blight Belly Rat, which I still need to make me a rat deck. I have yet to do that. I'm going to make me a Commander Rat deck. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here that kind of like helps. I won't say a lot. There are some cards in here that help push that that envelope. And uh, I would love to see where that leads to. Sawblades Camp. Kinzu of the Bleak Coven. I don't even know what this does. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you may pay two life and exile it. If you do, create a token. That's good. Ah, cool. So it's got some uh, recursion. We can kind of stick to the board a bit. Skrelv's Hive. Now this is definitely going to be something everybody's going to want to grab because it just pumps you out free creatures, essentially. So yeah, this is this is definitely going to be one of those key things in some in some decks oh we pulled jace the perfected mine all right okay cool regular jace and he's completed look at that it's nice there goes our pretty lands we've seen these already sheldred's edict some nice Pretty basic removal. And it's shiny. Everybody loves shiny. Hmm. Just let you tap down things. So that's kind of neat. If you're looking for something a little more control. Predation Stewart. Branch Blight Stalker. And it's got Elf, so... I'm pretty sure elves, will, an elf tribal deck, will find a way to slot this in somehow. Sinew Dancer. Like this one, this art's actually pretty, pretty nice. It's like weird, like crazy how he's like dancing with literal like blood and sinew. Ha, huh, Sinew Dancer, right? Escaped Experiment. Mm. Whatever that is that's escaped, I would be glad I am not there. All 
right, we good. I might look like something from a mutated mole. <laughs> Phyrexian horror. Okay. These are all just tokens, so whatever you need, they got it. Glissa Sunslayer. It's like cool splash art with some foil to it. 3-3 three, three for 3 with first strike and death touch. That sounds like a, a lot of good stuff. And it's got zombie, which is a pretty pretty uh good keyword or key key to key creature type. And it has multiple modes. You can choose one whenever it does combat damage. That's that's pretty pretty sweet. Oh look, we got another Kaido. I'm just getting all of the ninjas. This one's not foil though, but still the mega art, so it's still pretty dope. I like, I like. Here you go. Bone picker scourge with the Phyrexian stepped and completed look. Very, very nice. Oh look, double tap. This one's just foil. Urbrasks or Nointer. Hex plate wall breaker. That's like Commander Precon rare. Oh, Phyrexian Arena. This will definitely see play. It's just an all around good card. You lose one life, draw a card at the beginning. So essentially, you get to draw two cards every turn. So who doesn't want to not draw cards? Black Sun's Twilight. And there goes our, our nice land. Distorted Curiosity. So we're going to be using, this is a, one of those cards that's going to be triggering off that corrupted keyword in this set. Where if a player has three or more poison counters, your cards will have a, additional effects if they have the corrupted title. So I'm pretty sure you'll start seeing a lot of this more often. Ravenous Necro Titan. Same thing, has this corrupted ability. Wow, if you have it, if one of your opponents is corrupted when he enters the battlefield, you sacrifice a creature unless an opponent has three more. So this actually kind of hurts you, but you get a six-six body for four. So I mean, whatever you feel like you need at that moment. Oil Gorge of Troll. Once again, lots of lots of foiling going on here. Draw Skull Bomb. You have the Volshock Splitter with the form for Mirrodin. Pretty much you get to play it and it makes a creature, then it equips itself to that creature, so you don't even have to have a creature. You just cast this and it makes one. Mesmerizing Dose. More control. Enchanted creature. Taps it and proliferates. So that's a that's a nice thing. And here we are with our final pack. Just uh, if we hit something cool, we will be excited. If not, we are sitting here enjoying the beautiful art that is magic. Another rebel. What's on the back of this one? Phyrexian Golem. Oh, all right. We start off with a. Precon rare card, Tangleweave Armor. This actually does look cool. Even if you see the little, the little flying thing in the back. It gives you an idea how big this guy must be. Another Gliss of Sun Slayer with the splash art, like splash paint art. And we get a Mel, was it Malaria? Malaria? I know Larry is probably not how you pronounce it, but the step is step incomplete and it looks nice. Very, very nice. Here we go, another saw blade scamp. Quick silver fisher. No foil, but more of the splash art. There's a battlefield, draw a card and a scar card. So you get to do a little little rubbish. That's always neat. There we go. Kimbo's Banner. This is another pre-con rare card. 
we get encroaching. My Cawson, my Cawson, don't judge my English. It turns everything into artifacts. So if you're an artifact deck, this is awesome because now everything's going to trigger with artifacts. Rhea Ivor, Bane of Bladehold. It's just a regular one. He has a bunch of text. A bunch of text. <laughs> so it must do something interesting because it says it does a lot. <laughs> there goes our land. We have viral spawning. Create some creatures. Heed the infection. Draw three cards, lose three life. If your opponent's corrupted, each opponent who also loses three life. Huh. So you get a little little tag your it kind of there going on. The autonomous furnace. Red land taps. Pay two draw. Sacrifice draw card. Not terrible. Furnace strider. Comes with counters. Use those counters to, to make a creature gain haste. So I think it's a little over cost for what you want to do. But hey, use what you got. Play with what you like. Cruel Grimark. Grimnark. I said Grimnark. Now this is, I like this, because when it's foil, if you look at the hands, look how the hands look that are coming from like this necro poison that's just surrounding him. Like it really, it really looks cool. And this is just a regular card. Just foiled regular. So this is, this, this is cool. I like that. Vanish into eternity. Just cool looking cards. Really are cool. And that's it for the three packs we have today. We didn't hit nothing insanely crazy, but we saw some awesome art and some really cool effects in some of these cards. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I post videos. If you want to find me in other places, you can check out all my other socials in the description below the video. And you can check out my store at darknativegames.com. And that's D-R-K-N-A-T-I-V-E without the first A. You can go there and get yourself a bundle or a box or singles and crack your own packs and have your own fun with whomever, wherever you want. Again, this is Dark, first of his name, checking out. Duh.